Here we're going to look at evaluating a linear expression. So we want to evaluate the expression x minus 9y when x equals negative 4 and y equals 4. Now when you look at problems, there's usually about three main categories of instructions, or the basic ones. They'll say evaluate, simplify, or solve. Solve is the one we're probably the most used to, but you can only solve an equation. Well, what makes this x minus 9y not an equation? An equation needs an equal sign. An expression is just part of a mathematical sentence. It doesn't have an equal sign to it. So I see x minus 9y. It's already simplified because I don't have any like terms, but evaluating means they're probably going to give us some values and they want us to plug them in and say, if x was negative 4 and y was 4, what would this be equal to? Give us a number that this simplifies down to in this one case. So the first thing that I do is write down the problem but use parentheses where your variables used to be. This seems like a really small nuance difference, but when, especially when you start to plug in negative numbers when you're evaluating, it really helps to have the parentheses there first because it can matter when it comes to multiplication, especially exponents. So if I leave myself basically my equation with some blank space, so because x could be anything, so this says blank minus 9 blank, that's really what this said, x minus 9y. We're filling in something for x and y. So for x, we're going to put negative 4. And for y, we're going to put 4. So what operation is happening here? The only one that we can have without writing something, multiplication. So sometimes I like to put the little dot to remind myself. So definitely multiplication comes before subtraction. So negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. And we haven't touched the negative 4 yet. So negative 4 minus 36 and negative 4 minus 36 is negative 40. So let's try another one. Let's try the expression 4x minus c. Anything can be a variable, it doesn't have to always be x and y. When c equals 2, or let's go c equals negative 2, and x equals 2. So I'm going to write down my expression, but leave some blanks. So instead of x, I'll leave an empty space where x used to be, and instead of c, we'll leave an empty space where c used to be. So now we'll fill these in x is negative 2, or 2, sorry. And notice too, they gave you the first number here second to try to get you to just go in the same order. So be careful that you're like saying out loud to yourself almost what your letter is. So x, we're putting in 2, and c, we're putting in negative 2. And see here where these parentheses really help with the fact that there was a minus in our equation and we plugged in a negative number. So we have minus a negative that's the same as plus, or really it's like we're multiplying negative 1 out here. So we'll do all the multiplications and then we'll worry about this subtraction. So 4 times 2 is 8, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. And so now we can do the addition subtraction last and we end up with 10.